Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we are going to try to play We Can Work It Out by the Beatles. So you got a D for the sus4, D for the sus4, a C chord to a D. D, D sus4, D, D sus4, C to the D. Okay, does that two times? That's the verse. So your D chord is the third string, second fret, first string, second fret, and the second string, third fret. I'm going to get my thumb up here to mute that sixth string, get rid of it. So my strum is going to be down, down, down. For uh, everything but the bridge. Well, and the outro, sorry. Down, 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 up. Then add your pinky on the th first string, third fret. Same strum, that's the D sus4. So the D sus4 is the third string, second fret, the second string, third fret, and then my pinky's on the first string, third fret. I can leave my middle finger down uh, because I'm going to keep going back and forth between the two a couple times, and um, you know anything that's behind uh, doesn't matter anyway. It doesn't get hurt. So, so you got D, the sus4, D, the sus4. Now I'm going to go to a C chord. You can go to a regular C chord if you want. Uh, the fifth string, third fret, fourth string, second fret, second string, first fret. Uh, and you can have the open first string if you want. You can leave your pinky down. I think that's what they're doing. They're leaving their pinky down on the first string third fret. Okay? That's their C chord for the tune, I think. At least one of them's playing that. But you can do the regular C too. Doesn't matter. And then you're back to a D chord. Then you stay on the D chord. Here's the tricky part. It's like a lot of people just keep... They, they forget that the D is at the beginning and the, at the end of the little section here. So, uh, so it sounds like this. So, try to see it my way. C to a D. Stay on the D. I'm gonna go right into the chorus. G to a D. G to an A. That's the chorus. Uh, that's the we can work it out. That's a G chord, 5th string, 2nd uh, fret, 6th uh, string, 3rd fret, 5th string, 2nd fret, and then the 1st string, 3rd fret, same strong. Uh, you can do the other G chords that you like, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. So then you go to a D, same thing, then back to the G, same thing. Now you need an A chord, 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string, 2nd fret. Get my thumb, get rid of that low note. Okay? So that's your verse and your chorus. I'll put those two together now for you, you know. Try to see it my way. That repeats. Let's give you the form of the song right away. So that's the verse and the chorus, and then they repeat. They do another verse and another chorus. Then you have the bridge, which we're about to learn. Uh, after the bridge, you have the verse and the chorus come back again, and then the bridge comes back again. Then they tack on another verse, another chorus, and uh, these things will be pretty obvious when you hear them. And then they have the outro at the end, which is wicked simple. All right, so let's run through the bridge here. It's uh, B minor. Is very short and there's no time. All right, so you need a B minor chord. You're going to bar the second fret. 2nd string, 3rd fret, 4th string, and 3rd string at the 4th fret. I'm going to stick my index finger right up into the 6th string and mute that, that string. So, that's your B minor. Now, we're going to change our strum pattern. We're going to just do all downs for this whole section. So, the B minor, you're going to hit it 6 times. So, it's a whole measure and another half of the next measure. So, it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. Then what I do is I do this little hinge thing where... I'm going to leave my finger in the bar, sort of, but I'm going to lift up so I have the open fist string ringing and hit it twice. Um, and 
that's what you hear in the song. So it's like two, three, four, five, six, and then because you want that open fifth string. That's B minor with A in the bass, or B minor slash A. Excuse me. Then you go right to a G chord. Okay, and the G chord, uh, you can use any G you want. Uh, six string, third, oh, we already talked about the G chord. You already know the G chord. So, twice, uh, sorry, four times on that one. Now you need an F sharp, seven, sus four. We're gonna bar the whole second fret, all strings this time. Then the fifth string, um, fourth fret, and the third string, fourth fret. Uh, and hit that twice. Your next chord, I'm going to leave my middle finger, it can be behind the pinky this whole time, on the third string, third fret. Just like that. So you're barring the whole second fret, fifth string, fourth fret, third string, third fret. That's an F sharp seven. So it's like... So here's half of it right here. B minor, life is very short, and there's no time. Open fifth string, G. F sharp 7 sus 4 to the F sharp 7. Now this next section is a B minor, A in the bass, G in the bass, F sharp in the bass. So the whole time I have like this little B minor shape, you know, with these fingers here. I'm playing the B minor uh, and I change my rhythm. My rhythm is like quarter note triplets, which sound like dun dun, like triplets. Dun, dun, dun. Then I have the open fifth string. Then I'm going to snake around and grab the 6th string, 3rd fret, and then I'm going to grab the 2nd fret. I end up muting this one on that one, so. So those chords, let's go over those. B minor, you know already, you bar the whole 2nd fret, 2nd string, 3rd um, fret, 4th string, and 3rd string, 4th fret. That's my B minor, and I'm going to do chord note triplets like strawberry could do your favorite berry works or raspberry and then and then I'm gonna lift off I'm gonna still I'm still barring the first string second fret but I want the open fifth string and I do the same trip then I'm gonna let go of the bar I still got these guys down so I end up with the six string third fret this is B minor slash G so the G is right here it's a six string third fret I still got the 4th string, 3rd string, 4th fret, 2nd string, 3rd fret. I end up muting the 1st and the 5th string. It's like a G major 7, if you know that jazzy chord. And then, I keep these guys down and I end up going back to the 6th string 2nd fret. This is a B minor slash F sharp. So I got that, I'm going to mute the 5th string. I still got the 4th string and 3rd string 4th fret, 2nd string 3rd fret. And you can even bar the first string, second fret, if you want on that one. And I, oh, I hit three times. Okay? So that part's, it's not too bad. It's not hard to play at all, unless you just demonstrated it for two minutes. <laughs> all right, let me play the whole bridge now. Life is very short. Open fifth string, G chord, F sharp 7 sus 4 to the F sharp 7, and then D minor, D in the bass. That's the bridge. Hopefully that makes sense. All right. Now we've already given you the form of the song. Now let's just do the outro. The outro, you got a D chord, which you already know. Um, at some point you're going to lift up on the first string. So you got the open first string. That's a D sus two. We're going to call. Okay. So we got D. That's what it sounds like. So what I'm doing is on the D chord I go down, down, up, down. I lift up on the first string so it's open. I go, I hit it once, go back to the D chord, add the sus4, which is the first string third fret, hit it once, and then back to the D chord. So it sounds like... That's your ending. Outro. For we can work it out. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. It's uh, It wasn't too bad. 
wasn't too bad. It worked out really nicely on the guitar. All right, uh, please hit the like button. Subscribe. Have you subscribed yet? <laughs> Play more guitar, and thanks for watching.